computer. Okay. This is our weekly Life Mastery coaching call for youth. And today we're talking about the three types of friendships. Three types of friendships. Uh, not all friends are created equal. However, uh, there's really kind of three categories that basically friends fit into. Uh, any idea what those are, Andy? Kinds of friends? Maybe. Um, you have to speak up. You've got to speak maybe. up. Like helping the, helping you? Helping friends, okay. Nellie, what do you think? Any idea what the types of friends are? A fake friend. Ooh, fakes, all right. Well, we'll we're talking about the real ones. We, we, over the last few weeks, we've actually talked about toxic people and fake friends are kind of falling into that toxic people thing. So we could touch on that too. But we're, right now we're talking about uh, the first one and the lowest types are friendships of what we call utility. And I put that in the uh, chat for you. Friendships of utility. Well, what does that mean? Well, uh, for example, in your kitchen, you have a utensil drawer, right? That has the same root word. Uh, Hopefully there's also a junk drawer, which is all the things that you use for utility. But utility where people get together for the sake of a specific benefit. Um, uh, an example would be uh, a group of people that get together for like a school project where they're not really your friends, but you gotta be friendly with them because uh, the teacher put you in with that group, right? Who's, who's experienced that before? You guys have? Yes? Okay. So another example would be a, like a group of entrepreneurs or business owners that uh, promote each other's work. Uh, for example, I, I am that low friend with uh, one of the ice cream shops in town. And whenever they post something, I repost it and make sure I share it. Uh, but I'm also much better friends with them too. So, but we also are that, that low friend. So what are other utility examples of friendships? I've given you a couple ideas. You tell me now, utility friendships. What do you think, Nellie? Um, I think some, like some people that um, you hang out with sometimes because you have to be put in a group with them. Yeah. Now, a lot of times I call those people associates and not friends because some of those folks I would have never invited over to my house, like ever, or wanted to go play with them after or hang out. So, um, but still, you know them and you're associated with them. And so that's kind of that, that lowest friendship. You both get something out of it, all right? You're both working for a, a task. So one of the, the second one is uh, the type of friendship for uh, pleasure and happiness. So I can write that one down. These type of companions share the same interests that you do. They think the same kind of things are cool. Uh, they have your weird sense of humor. They don't make fun of you for uh, things that you think are funny. And you just generally enjoy each other, other's company. Do you all know somebody like that? Cool. And what kind of things do you have in common with them? 
Andy, what do you think? Mm, maybe. You have friends that you play soccer with mm. or basketball or something like that, or friends that you like to ride bikes with all the time. No, uh, we, we, I think a little bit of soccer. Okay. So there's, there's friends that specifically you hang out with. Um, I know my sons, they, they have people that they'll hang out with like to do airsoft other people that they'll hang out with to play uh, some of the board games or uh, online gaming. Some, some friends don't do the online gaming thing. So they have different friends in different places, but each one is a, a, a friendship of, of pleasure or happiness. Do you understand that guys? Cool, all right. So the third and the kind of the highest type of friendship, um, write it for you are friendships of virtue or of the good and you know not to each participant uh, loves the other not for what they can get from them but really for their character uh, I hang out with a couple people good good buddies that I get nothing from the friendship, so it's not a utility thing. Sure, I get happiness from hanging out with them, but they're ge genuinely good people, and I like spending time with them. Um, uh, people that I, uh, I admire some of their character and qualities. Uh, like... Uh, one, one guy that I hang out with a lot, dude, smart, super, super smart. And I love always running things by him because he has a different, he, his brain works different. He thinks different. He comes up with different perspectives. So, you know, and those kind of friends, you can work side by side with them toward something good. Um, and you inspire each other to be better. A lot of times, for example, your parents, your parents have this kind of friendship of, of the good stuff. They tackle things together. Um, they inspire each other to be better. And they're working forward in that common goal to raise you two to be productive members of society. And it's not that friendships of utility or happiness are bad. Um, and a lot of those things are included in, in the the friendship of virtue as well, but um, a lot of those tend to be not long lasting. You guys, let's see, Nellie, how old are you? Andy, same question. Yeah. I'm 10. Okay. Uh, you'll make friends and friends will come and go. Friends will come and go. Some people will drift into your life and you'll be best of friends for a while and then eventually they kind of go out. Um, some friendships, I've been friends with people since I was very young, like kindergarten age, and I'm still friends with them today which is, it's, it's a very long time. And some of the people that I've been friends with for a very long time uh, decided to uh, go kind of crazy. And again, we talked about, and do you remember talking about the toxic friendships? Ooh, I'm gonna, I need less drama in my life. I don't need more. So those people I'm gonna distance myself from. Uh, what happens in your school group when you get put together with a bunch of kids and your work is over? Are you still working closely with them? 
or do you just kind of go back to your own chair and that friendship ends? Kind of like that? Yeah. Um, what we want to aim for is that for that top one, that friendship of, of the good, friendship of good things, because those are the ones that last over time and distance. You guys are probably going to move around or your friends may move. Uh, one of my longtime friends, for example, was uh, he was living up in Canada and then he's moved down to Mexico for the last two years. And now he's moving again to the very, very south part of Mexico. Found a, a cooler place to go with his family down there. Uh, I have other friends that are literally on the other side of the world that I don't get to see very often except on calls like this and we get to zoom every so often but right now it's like midnight there so it's hard to hook up um what kind of friendship do you give and this is the last point of the day So some of this may be just as a little bit of thought for you, Andy and Nellie. Uh, what kind of friend are you being? Are you being the kind of friend that says, I'm only going to be friends with you, with you if I get something out of it? Remember, that's that lowest type of utility friendship. Or I'm going to only hang out with you if we do fun things and you, you make me happy. You know? Or are you going to go for that, that of the good friendship where you could be happy with that person, they can be totally sad, and you're okay with that, and you'll help them get a little bit better. And if you're sad, they'll help you get a little bit better. If you're happy and they're happy, cool. If you're both sad, well, you can still hang out together. That's, that's that of the good, We're good or bad they're still good friends with you. Um, and I want you guys to consider what kind of friend are you being? So I'm gonna write that down here and I want you to write this one down. What a friend am I being? Write down that sentence and this is the last thing. And while you're writing, I'll talk about it. What kind of friend are you being? A lot of time, the best way to get a friend is to start being a friend to somebody. But remember, we don't want to be the utility friend. Hey, will you be my friend if I give you the chips from my lunch every day? Okay. So that's kind of that utility thing, and that's, that's kind of paying for a friendship. Um, I'm feeling sad all the time, and so I only want ha the happy friend. Again, you're trying to get something from that. You want to have it go both ways. So you always have to check, am I being a good friend? Now, what's that word? Being. What kind of word is being? Nellie, what do you think? What kind of word is being? Like, be nice. Well, you're still, you still have the cats, basically. Uh, almost. Andy, what do you think the word being is about? Um, doing good things. Well, what about the verb to be? That's where it comes from, right? So here's what I mean by that. Being is an action word. It's an action word. So when you ask, what kind of friend am I being? What kind of actions am I taking to be a good friend? What kind of actions am I taking to show that I care about the other person? So that's what I want you to be asking yourself in your friendship. Does that make sense to you guys? Cool. That's all we have for today. I'm going to